guys, I think I just broke the internet. Not even five minutes after I posted the video about Mert being a free agent, Twitter blew up with roster mania changes. So let's get right into it. So as you can see here, right after I posted my video, not even a minute or two later, um, Weeks off of Rise tweeted that he was a free agent. He says everything that Mert said but less envious related things. So Weeks is a free agent. Then it came from Twiz. Now Twiz played on uh, SB as well as BBV and a few other teams and he is now a free agent for Black Ops 3. Chino, also from Rise. I'm officially a free agent for Black Ops 3. I want to thank Rise for everything they've done for me over the past year. Burns Off, also from Rise. Currently a free agent. Big thank you to the Rise Nation for the past three months, especially Rise Bomber. Hope they do big things in Black Ops 3. Soon after that, Rise Nation posts, We are pleased to announce three players from our new roster. Welcome Slack, Classic, and Octane. The fourth will come tomorrow. So Slack and Octane left Elevate, and Classic left Denial to join Rise Nation. And that's where it gets interesting. The CEO of Denial says, Wish the best to Classic. Wish he would have came to me first before leaving. I guess this is COD though. I enjoyed having him. Also coming from Elevate CEO, they say at the Rise Nation, at Slight, at Classic, and at Octane. Thanks for the heads up, Rise. So apparently, none of these players that left their teams to go to Rise let their management know, or their owners, team team organizations know that they were leaving. That is one thing that they've been talking about for a while. There should be contracts. Uh, it shouldn't go through Twitter. They shouldn't have to find out through Twitter or stuff like that. Um, that Things got to change for that. Also, Orbit underscore TCM is a free agent for Black Ops 3. Now, Slack did come on and say, I'd like to thank Elevate for everything they have done for me. I'll be joining Rise with Octane and Classic. Our fourth will be announced tomorrow. So far, those are the roster changes. Nameless just posted on Twitter. Are people actually making new teams before the game comes out? Or is there another AW tournament? No, Nameless. There's no more AW tournaments. People are being crazy and starting to make changes. Um, the game comes out on the 6th. Um, I don't know when the first tournament will be. I don't think they even announced it. I'm sure you can like see who's going to be good at the game before you make organizations, um, team changes and stuff. Uh, but everybody's going ahead and stepping up before it comes out. And he's making these changes. So I'm sure once the game comes out, there's going to be even more changes. Um, so these probably aren't going to be 100% until the roster is locked. Um, before season one starts, uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about these rest changes. I don't know what happened, but as soon as I made that video, though, Twitter just blew up. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.